Now, we continue to follow the saga of the Manolis L, the sunken paper carrier that had been hemorrhaging oil near Change Islands last year. As you know, many people have been demanding the federal government pump the oil out of the sunken wreck and be done with it. Instead, the Coast Guard has installed a coffer dam to contain any oil that might leak. And as we told you recently here on the show, the federal government has decided that coffer dam is the long-term solution for the time being. To get some reaction to that, CBC National reporter Vic Adopia spoke with Kevin Strobridge. He's a naval architect and instructor at Marine Institute. Here's some of that. What factors contribute to um, whether or not oil leaks take place like well after the, the ship has sunken? One of the main features would be the, uh, the depth of the water. Uh, ships in deeper water are going to have more water pressure pushing on them. That's going to tend to keep the oil inside. And then when leaks occur, uh, there's a lot more uh, water so for it to dissipate in. Uh, what we're seeing in shallow waters is uh, there's more oxygen in, in, in that level of the water. The pressure is less, and there's no, no room for the oil to dissipate once it does start leaking. When you do have sunken ships that are just a couple hundred feet below the, the surface of the water, um, are they more prone to movement just from, from weather? Uh, yeah, you get stronger currents that can shift the vessels around and uh, they're in a weakened state because they're they're older, they're underwater. Obviously, they're not supposed to be operating in that 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 condition. Um, if once they break open, you get stress cracks uh, forming that can cause uh, escape routes for the oil. Now, the Manolis is uh, I think it's about 250 feet or so below the surface of the ocean, um, and it sank in the 80s. So, given that time frame, is is it sort of expected that it would start leaking oil about now? Uh, yeah, that would be about right. Uh, vessels in shallow waters, I'd be looking at anywhere from 20 to 30 years, and I think she's about almost 30 years now. So she's right where she would be uh, to start leaking oil. Uh, again, it depends on the local areas, specifically where she is, the, the currents in there, the, the, uh, again, the, the depth of the water, all those play a factor. But yeah, 25, 20, to, uh, 20 to 30 years sounds about right. What about like uh, other shipwrecks that are around? I mean, there there's so many sunken ships around uh, the world. I mean, is this can a ship just stay there and you can sort of seal any cracks and it could be there indefinitely? Eventually, the steel is going to it, it will degrade and the oil is going to get out. That's that's a given. Uh, the deeper the water, the more uh, time and the more area or, or it is for the dissipation, so you may not notice the oil. Uh, ships that are in shallow water and, and close to the uh, close to shore, you're going to see that problem because the oil's not going to dissipate as as quickly and it's going to get up onto the shore. You're going to notice it. But uh, every ship around the world that sank that's uh, in this last century that's been carrying oil will eventually leak that oil. Coast Guard has been using what they call a coffer dam. Can you explain what that is in terms of how to see how that works to seal oil leaks? If you were to think about it as taking a glass and putting it into water upside down. And then uh, it, it's just going to capture anything that floats up into it. It's a, a stopgap measure, a temporary, or typically used for temporary measure. Back in 2010, when they had the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, they used something similar to that to uh, to capture the oil that was coming out until they were able to plug the leak. By any means, this should not be considered a permanent fix. This is a temporary measure. Eventually, the oil has got to, got to be pumped out of these uh, these tanks, or else there's going to be continue to have oil spills up there for for years. So, uh, this isn't something that can you you can just sort of plug and you know if there's no further disturbance to the vessel. I mean, this is not something that could could hold oil indefinitely. No, no, this is a the, the coffer dam is a temporary fix. The uh, the oil should be removed from that vessel. The Coast Guard is saying right now that. This is the their final solution to it is just is plugging it. So I mean, how how likely is it that they'll be back there eventually? Oh, they'll be back. One hundred percent likely likelihood that they'll be back within the next five years. Just because of the uh, the fact that uh, the vessel is in in shallow water, she's close to shore. There's a lot of uh, strong currents in that area. Uh, this is uh, the leakage that's happening right now. Is that's that's one tank. That vessel's got many tanks on board. There's a lot of oil on board, and it's it's going to come out. That was Kevin Strobridge, naval architect and instructor at Marine Institute, and he was talking about the Manolis L.